do a red eye flight to Chicago. I'm sorry, like the anxiety I felt talking to this woman, like. trying to figure this all out right now i'm looking at my schedule and um i'm working from vegas to chicago i have a 12 oh i have a 21 hour layover it's cold over there just oh it's cold over there right now oh okay so 21 hours in chicago dead and then uh, thursday i'm working a flight from Chicago to Orlando. Check it up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Talk crazy on tweets. They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I beat these niggas all sweet. Weed bamboo sticks out on the cheap. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seats. No fear for the IG, just no cheer. Do anything for club. Anything, do anything for club. Do anything for club. Made it to Chicago. First of all, as you guys saw, crew scheduling contacted me at 9.43 p.m. Uh, you know, I am on the late reserve shift, which is from 2 p.m. to 12 a.m. And like, typically they won't let me know if I have a call. And the anxiety that I felt when I get the call from crew scheduling is crazy because I literally packed up everything in my room had my pajamas on, my room, my, as y'all saw, like, I was ready for bed. I was ready for bed. And they literally called me talking about, yeah, we need you to make a flight in Chicago. And my trip is going to be weird because, so I'm here in Chicago for 21 hours, right? I have a call time of 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. However, it's strange. Tomorrow morning, I'm working a flight from Chicago to Orlando. And then... I literally am being deadheaded home, well, deadheaded to Denver on a Southwest flight. And I had to catch another Southwest flight just to go from Denver to Las Vegas to go back home. And the reason they're doing that is because my guaranteed day off starts on the 12th, tomorrow is the 11th. So they have to get me back home before the 12th, which is why I'm only working the flight to Orlando and then being sent directly back home. A whole lot of hoopla. Um, ciao. Anyways, there was like a little mini medical, um, online, on the flight. I said online, on the flight. Um, nothing major though. Um, we did have to administer oxygen to someone, so it was cool. Uh, the flight was relatively easy, in all honesty. It's just like a short two hour and a, almost three hour flight. Not a biggie. Well, I'm going to catch you guys up. I'm going to be resting and relaxing and falling asleep um, because I have money to Uh, it's like 5 30 oh, and i'm fighting sleep i'm so tired i'm like waiting for um my phone to charge so i can go to the gym because i have to go to the gym today like i cannot just not go i don't want to go i'm really tired and exhausted the, the reality of flying so often is that you just get so jet lagged and I couldn't come to bleep sleep because I just felt like, oh my God, I have to report, I have to report to the gate. And it's like, I don't have to report to the gate till tomorrow morning.
bounce. I got the drip, come get it now. They do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. This is mad, this is trash. This is the grouch. See me win, ain't got to hurt. Ouch. So when they see me, what they gonna do? Up on the couch. Do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. tell you what happened to me so i am not in vegas i'm in orlando so this morning our flight from where was i chicago to orlando was delayed by like 30 40 minutes and i had to catch a flight to deadhead back to denver and then denver to las vegas well i missed it I literally spent like an hour and a half at the airport stranded because I had to wait for crew scheduling to find me another flight. Um, I'm going to be flying out tonight from Orlando uh, to Vegas. And uh, the reason why they were dub deadheading me previously is because my guaranteed day off starts tomorrow. But because I missed my flight, I now have to deadhead into my first guaranteed day off, which is tomorrow. So now they're gonna pretty much um, have to like give me that day off back. So, I'm 